Yes, welcome again to the UK Compliance Boots Camp. In this Boots Camp, we cover KYC, AML, AML, sanctions, data protection, and GDPR. So what's the objective of this Boots Camp, right? Um, so, you know, this um, Boots Camp, right, was put together, you know, as a result of... Um, it, a need or a problem that we observed in the market. A lot of people are trying to, um, I mean, I rem we used to do a lot of cons uh, consultation and we still do a lot of consultation for those that are probably trying to move to the UK, you know, and we had a lot of them who are Nigerian lawyers or foreign trained lawyers, you know, even from Ghana and from other parts of um, this, the world, right? And upon getting here, some of you applied to do their LLM, just like um, Kolade said himself, but it was until they got here that they discovered that, you know, they can't actually practice, or some were aware that they can't practice, you know, until they write further um, qualifications, you know, uh, beyond, you know, just the LLM. And, I mean, of course, those qualifications are quite pricey and because of that you know people want to pay the bills at the moment so that they i mean we advise them that you know they should consider alternative career paths like you know compliance gdpr you know um, kyc and aml which is not so far not so far right from the legal background also for people who are who have banking experience as well you know that you know just want to navigate or integrate into the new country that they are or they want to step their foot into the banking industry here it's always a good start to start from you know kyc related roles because they are transferable skills that you are coming that you have you know from where you are coming from so that was why we put together this training because yeah at the beginning we used to just do cvs for a lot of them to like you know they were getting interviews but they were not able to scale these interviews because there was something missing that is understanding of the uk regulatory framework understanding of you know the actual what happens on a day-to-day -day of in those roles you know which you cannot um you cannot know right if you do not go through a bootcamp, you can do certifications and all that, but that does not prepare you, you know, for what your day-to-day -day will look like. That does not prepare you for industry itself. And that was why we put this bootcamp together to make your job ready. Even if you are not a banker, even if you were not a lawyer, even if you are just starting your career or you are just, I mean, you just are someone who like to, um, like, who like things being done the right way. You know, this bootcamp, is the one for you so we are going to be providing you with knowledge as well as practical skills to help you to stand out in the job markets so who can take this course i'm sure some people here who are neither lawyers or bankers are already feeling like oh rookie it looks like i'm in the wrong place you know or it looks like it's only bankers and lawyers that this is for but that is wrong you know either you are a foreign trade lawyer or a banker that's just a category of people that's the people who are coming from another background early career beginners you are just graduating you have never worked before you went straight from your bsc or you've just finished your bsc are looking for a career path to start you know to start from or you have you immediately after your bsc you didn't have any work experience you came straight for your master's right this is also you know recommended for you we've had a couple of people also join not even for them to get a job they're trying to run a business or set up their own company and they want to understand compliance as it applies in the uk or in like a western a western um a more developed you know country like the uk where where they can actually like learn international best practice from so either you are a business person you know an a, a an early career um person just starting your career or you are trying to look for way to transition to you know you can take this course right without any preliminary banking experience or legal experience so you can take this you can join this boot camp and it will be beneficial to you so what models do we cover in this boot camp unlike most of the boot camps out there which are always focused on just kyc and AL, AL, aml which is anti-money laundry right ours is i mean well our own was customly designed to be better and to like to be an improvement over what is uh, what you get out there and that because of that you get to learn kyc aml and pep which is politically exposed persons 
you get to it's recover regulatory compliance which applies across industries you know so that means that you, what you need to learn is about the methodology and the framework and this can be applied across industries so for instance you're a healthcare person you can actually apply for compliance within the healthcare you can actually apply for compliance analyst within insurance you can apply for I mean, you can apply for compliance in other industries beyond, you know, financial institutions and um, legal um, institutions as well. So, yes, we also get to cover data protection and privacy, which is beneficial to you either, you know, as a either you're trying to get a role as a data protection analyst or even just to be, I mean, aware of what GDPR is all about, you know, because if you're going to be in the UK, if you're going to be living in the UK or in Europe as a whole, you need to understand GDPR. It would also inform, you know, and improve how you relate with people as well as how you um, manage any data that come into your custody for people. And understand privacy as well then also we'll be covering financial crime and sanctions which is also another career path that you can explore at the end of this boot camp and one special thing that we now put together which you will not get out there is our practical and final projects you know we designed this to give you practical work experience you know for the role so you get to actually be assigned cases just like you would have on a day-to-day as a KYC analyst or AML analyst, and then you get to actually um, resolve this, you know, conduct sanction screening or conduct KYC or AML on these cases. We believe that projects-based learning is always advantageous over, you know, just you would come in and then we have a seminar, we talk, 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 and then that's, and then that's it. So you get to work on the projects, real cases, you know, you go to company's house and then you do your own research, gather information and, you know, solve this case. You also get to work on ample quizzes as well as uh, multiple, que uh, multiple questions, you know, to help you develop you know confidence and to gain hands-on experience in this field so what are the potential career paths that we have in this field and what are the average salary i'm sure before i mean one of the things that is very important to do when you're considering a career um career switch or considering um, moving to another career or considering another career path is to know what is the i mean what's the potential in terms of is it i earning is it i earning will it allow me flexible jobs also you know does it have potential for other things that might be peculiar to your own personal situation and and one thing that's you know um, as a kyc analyst you know the average salary according to read is 59,000 compliance, 47,000, and the likes, depending on your level of um, expertise as well, there's no limit to how far you can go. Also, another thing that these rules offer is ability for you to do contracts, you know, so you can actually have multiple contracts. You can, most of the jobs are actually also work from home, which allows you the flexibility to actually have a balance and to be able to like juggle with some other things that you might have on your plate as well. So, in terms of training perks, so I mean, having said that about the um, the career path as a as a path on its own. So, if you are joining, if you are joining RQI Careers Bootcamp for to transition to become a compliance analyst or KYC analyst, what are the benefits? You know. And I think I've said some of them, you get to join live training, not just recorded, because I know some people have complained about paying for some trainings in some places and they were just giving recordings to watch, you know, and then just um, when they have questions, they get answers to the question or something. But this is quite different. You get to join virtual live training for five weeks. You know, you get to join live classes where you can ask questions. And the one thing I like about our classes is that they are always very interactive. Our facilitator is very fantastic. Not only does it teach you, does it teach you the the concepts and everything you need to know it relates to it relates it you know to what um, is applicable in industry because it's also highly experienced you know and yeah so you get access to life training also outside of the classes we also have a community that we maintain that you know um, even during the course of the training as well as after you can ask your questions in the group and you get answers to them you know so there's no point where you'll be stuck or that you'll be left you know 
on your own, you know, during the course of the program. So as access to our LMS. So for a lot of people too as well, even though we have live classes, a lot of people are very busy. And when I say very busy, not that you don't have time for the classes, but sometimes we want to learn at our own pace, we, meaning that we want to revisit what we have learned in a very organized, you know, in a, in a very organized platform. Not that we would search for link one today. Where is the link for today's one? We have something we call the learning management system. This houses our resources and um, our materials as well as recordings to our classes also when we have other enriching materials we also upload them to this element so this lms is what is going to guide the training all our quizzes all our projects they are already within the lms for you to uh, to um, take them and you know for you to for, for you to learn at your own pace you know you have access to this for up to 12 months meaning that you know when you have interviews you can go back to watch the interview preparation sessions on there you can go back to watch classes when it, when you have a question that is about the class that, is, that has been held before you can always go back you know to watch them so also practical case studies i already said this earlier that you act you get to work on real life cases you know which you'll be like what you'll be doing on a day to day you know, you get competency tests, uh, that, which is also what I said earlier. That's the final projects and the quizzes and all that and the tests. Final projects, cases to be solved. So also because of this drilling that we take you through, and because of the practical real life cases that you'll be working on, you know, we get to give you um, job reference for the period, you know, for the period while the training um, for the period of the training that you can put on your CV to break the barrier of not having UK work experience on your CV, you know, for job search purposes. Also, we get you get a certificate of completion. Our certificate of completion is a credit. I mean, our program as a whole, our materials, our um, delivery method, everything is has been, you know, um, has been um, evaluated and um, endorsed and you know accredited by CPD. CPD is a UK accreditation body that gives global you know accreditation to training institutes. So I mean you have you have that confidence that we are not just we didn't just come up with curriculum that was not you know assessed and approved. And also you yeah you get to like I mean, discuss real life scenarios as well as work on real life scenarios. And one thing that our training used to stand out that is also included included um, that is not included here is that um, you will not only be learned like our facilitator is so practical that you know it tells you everything, even down to we also have this interview preparation session that we have where we open up job descriptions and you know distill it like we break it down into pieces. Like okay, this is what a um this is what is on a job description because sometimes some things might be worded you might not even know you've been taught or yeah you've done it because it's been worded differently you know so our training is very practical from the interview preparation itself to the training itself and every area of it so a lot of people want to know does this field have potential for visa sponsorship you know well one good thing i can tell you is that compliance you know as a category compliance manager you know compliance officer is on the um uk eligible eligibility eligible skilled worker eligible occupation list right and uh, yes so that confirms that so if you're able to get a company that is willing to sponsor you they can go ahead to sponsor you because it's on the uk eligible occupation list so that means that it has potential for sponsorship. I even know a couple of people who actually graduated with us from or from our boot camp, right? And they and they're working on getting their COS and all that now with the job that they got from the from the boot camp. So yeah, this is what I mentioned earlier about RQI being CPD accredited. And what does that mean for you? What benefits does that have for you? That shows recruiters, you know, that you are committed to this career path. You are not just someone that is jumping from here and there because you went ahead to get, you know, um, certification from a CPD 
accredited um, company. If you go to CPD websites, you see our organization there as well. You see our trainings and our websites there to show you that, you know, we are working in line with them into um, get our materials, our delivery methods and all that accredited. You know, this also gives you the confidence that, you know, our training is of international standard and also forms part of your continuous professional development. For some companies, right, um, part of their HR requirements is for them to do like a number of hours of CPD training annually and if this is the case i mean some companies even pay for this training because the continuous um, development is the requirements you know for international best practice for hr so they even pay for this training like so if you have you have these requirements in your company as well it is an added advantage that you can say okay the number of hours you did with um, rky you know makes up for that number of hours that's a requirement that is also extra value for your money you know because you are not just them um, doing training with on a one-to-one -one basis where you don't get any evidence to show for it or you cannot like put on your cv right you are getting it from an accredited organization so yeah having said all that you know so what is the value of our training so if we look at all the benefits i've mentioned that you'd get you know which i mean is not easily come by the value of this training should actually be coming to like over one thousand pounds right but our price our original price for this training is 650 pounds and 550 000 in naira i think the naira price should have actually even increased than this because i think exchange rates is a bit um, volatile at the moment but anyway let's take it this way uh, this the actual price for the boot camp is 650 pounds and 550 however because you're attending this um tester session today because you are part of this meeting today and if you make commitments today you get um and if you want to pay one off you get a whooping 100 pound off you know and then you get yeah you get a whooping 100 pound off and if you are paying in installments you pay 600 pounds and then 500,000 in Naira. Another thing that I've never done before in all of our compliance trainings is for us to give CV and LinkedIn optimization because students always have to pay for it because, you know, if we continue to add all these things, it just continues to make the training, you know, more, it continues to make the training more expensive. However, as a one-off, right, you also get free CV and LinkedIn optimization. I'm sure that you know that that also amounts to almost £100 if you are going to be doing that on a standalone. However, if you make a commitment today and you, you also get, so that means that you are getting like over £100 off because the, you are getting your CV done and LinkedIn done and because and there's nothing as sweet as that. I mean, going through a bootcamp because usually the next thing to do after you go through a bootcamp and all that is to prepare your brand to like reflect your new knowledge, your new area of interest, and to optimize your previous experience as well in line with the new um, in line with the new career path that you have been trained for that you have gained experience. In. so please save this screen i mean save this screen if you if so that's you know you can remember the price and um, please paste the account numbers as well so if you make payments uh, or you um if you make payments today or secure your slots by making your initial deposit so initial deposit is 50 percent of the installment price so that's if you are paying in installments what we need you to pay today to enjoy this discount and get the free cv and linking is 50 percent of 600 pounds that's 300 pounds and 250k in naira please paste the account number in the chat box so that they can have access to it as well so these are some of the feedback that we've gotten from our from the last quarter because a lot of people want to know those your, I mean, have, have people actually been getting jobs? And not only have they been getting jobs, a lot of our students are in the recruitment process, you know, and the feedback has just been very fantastic. You know, they all just get back and say, you know, Rookie, I'm really happy I joined this boot camp. You know, I'm, I'm happy the interview preparation session that you... That, I mean, the interview preparation se session we had, how you guided us to answer questions. I attended an interview with a bank recently. They asked me to introduce myself and I followed your guideline. And just after after just doing that, they said they didn't even know what questions to ask because I've given, I've answered all the questions they plan to ask. 
I don't know if it gets me. So, like, there's so there are success stories. If you go through our pages where you see ample success stories, people that have gotten jobs as senior account officers, client advisor, financial advisor, KYC analyst, you know, compliance analysts. You know, there's even one of our, can um, our candidates as well that got a 1,000 per day job from Nigeria. He's even still in Nigeria. You know, he got a due diligence role from Nigeria, you know, and he's getting 1,000 per day. Contract. I think no, is it contract? One thousand. I think it was a contract-based job, right? And it's getting one thousand per day. I mean, isn't that fantastic? I'm sure that you know that's this would also like um, encourage you as well to know that you know the field is also. If you go to um, LinkedIn as well, search for KYC roles, search for AML, search for compliance. You see that there are so many jobs out there because lots of financial institutions in the UK are currently expanding, trying to also have their fintech. I trying to have their fintech um, side especially the traditional banks. So if the likes of NatWest, the li likes of Lloyd's, the likes of, um, you know, Barclays and the all, they are all recruiting heavily for this role. Satanda, look, a couple of our um, students have gotten jobs in Satanda, in Barclays, in NatWest, you know, and a lot of them are also interviewing there as well. So this is the time to like, you know, plug in. If you're also interested in, you know, maybe entering the UK banking system, even if compliance is not the end goal for you, but you just want to like start from somewhere, this is also a good um, place to start from. So, uh, yeah, this is another success story. Okay, so fantastic. Um, so before we move on, I want to know if you have any questions for me before we introduce our facilitator who will be driving us through and giving us a taster of what we, what we would get, you know, in the bootcamp. So I'll be going to the chat box now. If you have a question for me, please drop your question in the chat box. I'll go through if any question has been dropped so far. While you are typing and while we are getting people to ask their question, let me introduce our facilitator who is our facilitator who will be driving us through who will be teaching us during the course of this boot camp of course you'll be seeing my face as well throughout throughout the course of the boot camp you know but you know we have a seasoned expert who will be teaching us you know uk compliance kyc and all so we have olumide otolori you know is he has an mba msc llm so he's a dual qualified solicitor as well for those of you who are um legal professionals as well you know this is he's qualified both in the uk and in nigeria so for a lot of people that are also thinking oh can i still go ahead and what's i qualify because a lot of people are qualified even in our last class i think we have someone that joined i was already also dual qualified but you know because after all the investments in getting qualified on this other end as well what next a lot of people still have to go back to either transition to compliance or to other career paths so it's always best to get it right from the start and not you know end up investing so much so olumide has over 12 years of experience all top positions in renowned international firms and um, financial institutions like JP Morgan Chase, Credit Sue, BNP Paribas and the likes. You know, he has an executive MBA from Grenoble, you know, he's ICA certified, is also a chartered um, governance professional, you know, his um, specialties are KYC, AML, compliance, MIFID, financial crime fraud, transaction monitoring, business analysis, and projects management as well. So, I mean, who is best to teach us or take us through this, if not this wonderful, you know, um, person with so much um, badges, badges and accolades to his name? He pays 600 pounds as well as 500k. Oh, no, 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 you're not paying both. You're paying either, because we have people here joining from Nigeria, or people who want to pay in Naira, you know, because, yeah. So, um, that's the alternate price, you know, if you're paying in Naira or pounds. So, Fatai says, my question has to do with UK reference. Can you shed more light on it? I want to know the duration of the period. Can we, we can include in our CV that we have been working with you? And also when the companies get in touch with you on our behalf, would you respond to them as actually working with you? Oh, yes. So, because we don't put months, and the thing is, if you, have, if you like... I mean, we'll be doing your CV and LinkedIn for you, right? And if you make payments today, right? And um, also, um, let me see. 
duration we don't put months on our CVs, so that means that you would get 2023 to present however you know what normally what what would be on your CV is 2023 to present right which would confirm as well if you know they get in touch with us so um, do we respond quickly of course we do because even like we've had people who had multiple offers there's this candidate from one of our courts he had three jobs and i've had to confirm his reference three times one with lloyd's another with Santander, another with another bank i think you know so yes we would you know and that's why you know this reference a lot of people actually pay to get you know people to do it for them because it has admin costs related to it you know it's not it's something that's um it's something that's um uh, what's it called you know has to be done quickly and you know as a when and properly so yes of course we would respond to them as soon as we get their mails right okay so I think that answers your question for time so yes before let's please keep dropping the questions and let's in let's get our um, is, um our facilitator Olumide, you know to start addressing us Olumide, if you're there please unmute yourself we can't wait to you know get the, the tips and you know what you have to share with us today thanks Aruka, for introducing me and thanks for attending to everyone um yeah it's another wonderful session and um as usual, would we'll, we'll, uh, go through what we're about to um, well market to you guys, and also hopefully you guys will be convinced. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys a short story about um, how I ended up where I am today. Uh, hopefully, it's going to motivate you guys. UK, um, almost uh, 15 years ago, um, I was working as a solicitor in Nigeria and all that, and I relocated. Um, one thing that just shocked me was my first job in the UK um, really almost depressed me. Uh, my first job in the UK, I started working in Primark as a customer service. And um, I just felt this is much lower than the level of skill and knowledge that, that I have. So I felt I was being cheated or I was underemployed and all that. So I didn't give up. Um, I started studying and everything, but the difference between what's happening to you guys and what happened to me is that nobody put me through. So I had to go through the, the tough way. Um, and, you know, for about seven years when I relocated, I wasted a lot of time doing all these menial jobs and all that, worked in the call center, worked for charities, worked here and there. And I now found out that, um, you know, you need someone to guide you on this journey, especially if you want to settle down, have a, good, a great job and be able to challenge yourself. I won't say anything is easy, but KYC is actually very easy uh, by the time we go through it. So um, I qualified in the UK too as a solicitor. Um, and what I've been trying to do is to make sure that um, I build um, a society of um, KYC, AML, uh, compliance analysts who will be able to network learn a lot of stuff and also be able to get um, better knowledge and skills to be able to apply for better jobs. So um, I finished the last um, low paying job um, about, um, that was in about 20, 2012, yeah. And then I proceeded into, into banking. And since then it's become easier. Um, I've been able to apply for many jobs. I, I can work as a PEP analyst, sanctions analyst. I can work as a GDPR analyst, NIFID analyst, EML, KYC, and everything. And it's not really difficult. And what we are trying to do here is to guide you and show you the source, where you need to understand, the information you need to understand, the information you need to process in order to perform as a compliance professional, you know, it will also help you in your daily life, like GDPR, some of the things that you don't know, um, you know, that will help you protect your data information. And also, even in AML, there are some of the things that might help you to um, also identify fraud, identify um, AML red flags that will, you know, save your money from fraudsters and all that. So, I would say it applies to you in every way and form, you know, it helps to make the society a better place. Um, one thing I can say about RKY is that we are above the competition. Um, 
there is no training provider out there that gives what we have. Um, we are going to give you practical training. We also have good LMS, so, you know, we, we got technology to help you get to learn stuff. We also have a final project which we are going to embark on. During the final project, it's just to help to understand and to uh, test the knowledge and skills you've picked up from RKY. And most of our students pass it anyway, 99%. And even those that um, fail it, it's just maybe for one or two reasons. And we also help to give feedback and deal with all these issues. So there are four classes, and there's always one free class after um, all the classes, and that's to give you a double feedback session. So what we are going to do on this program, program is to make sure that you understand what you'll be doing in the office as an AML, KYC sanctions, PEP, or GDPR analyst, okay? And that encompasses most of the skills needed as a compliance officer. And then we'll now give you advice on how to apply for jobs, because that's the most important thing. We're also going to help you to do your CV. Your CV is definitely going to attract um um, agencies and banks that are recruiting and we're also going to prepare you for what are you going to tell the initial agency okay what are the things they need to you need to prepare for what are the things you need to write down when you have it um, the first call with the agency you need to tell them how much are, are you going to earn do you know what is outside our 35 where do you want to work what kind of bank do you want to work so you have to have all that figured out so that you look serious and all that so we're going to tell you how to deal with that and also, we also have a Q, Q, uh, question and answer session where we just put a little bit of pressure on you just to get you to feel comfortable um, dealing with difficult questions that you will, um, you will experience during your interview. And with the way we planned our training, um, it shouldn't be difficult for you to pass an interview because what we are trying to do is that we've targeted the different areas that we know that all that training and all that KYC analysts and AMN analysts, sanction analysts are lacking. So that's what we've done. And over time, every cohort that we have, we continue improving all our materials and everything just to make sure that we bring out the best. We also work on feedback from you guys and also people that we've trained. So um, all I can say is that um, it doesn't matter where you're coming from whether it's from the care, um, whether it's from medical, whether it's from anywhere, you know, some people came from warehousing jobs, they got tired, you know, just like me, doing all these low-level paying jobs. It, it could be annoying. And no matter where you're coming from, we are just here to treat you as if you have no idea of what KYC is and AML, GDPR, sanctions and all that. So it doesn't matter where you're coming from. But we are going to break it down to you and you'll be surprised at how easy it is. Um, you know, there's a little bit of reading, which is normal, you know, and all that. But at the end of the day, I can assure you that you won't get a better program out there. So mark my words, because, well, for the serious people and all that, you know, we're going to share the, where we get the information from. Like now, one thing for sure is that you have to um, have a solid understanding of the proceeds of the Crime Act, okay? Um, Terrorism Act, Counterterrorism Act sanctions, financial sanctions, money laundering regulations 2017, and all the amendments made after all. And also understand the SDA handbook, FCG, and all that. So that's what we're going to give to you. I've been in industry for the past 12 years, and I've been training. I've been also educating myself. I'm currently studying the Master's in Financial Crime um, at the ICA. I finished the initial diploma. And also on this program, we're also going to advise you if you want to go further, what qualifications you might decide to go into, how you can be, um, brand yourself, you know, after you've done your LinkedIn um, profile and all that, how you can brand yourself. We also have networking here and there. We have a WhatsApp group where we share information and share jobs and all that. Sometimes it just makes it easier when we share jobs and all you have to do is just click on the job and go. So our only is just to make sure that your success, your success is actually our success, Success is just to make sure that you achieve those goals you have as soon as possible. And that's what we are trying to do at RKY. So, and it's also a session whereby we, it's interactive, you know. I've seen that you guys have started talking on the chat there. So, we, we, we try to have an interactive session whereby you get the best value for money. You want to ask questions where if we are going too fast or too slow, 
feel free to ask your questions and everything. We are very flexible. Uh, once in a while, we go over, you know, um, the time period and all that. Just once in a while, depending on the agreement of everyone in the class, and then, you know, um, just to discuss a lot of various issues. But at the end of the day, you have to, one thing that you'll be able to do is to, when you're working your QIC ML case, you'll be able to understand and you'll be able to pinpoint who are the UBOs, who are the PSTs that you need to identify for each case. You also need to understand who are the controllers of each entity. You are also going to understand what the entities are. During this course also, we're also going to teach you how to perform background screening. We're also going to teach you how to mitigate PEPs. Um, we're also going to teach you how to mitigate and, um, and write reports on sanctions. So, yeah, we're going to show you exactly what you need to do and where you need to pick information from and also give you as much support as possible. Nothing is difficult, so we look forward to having a good session with you guys. Um, one thing I'll say is, um, because I've told you guys my story, the most important thing you guys have to think about is the mindset. So what we are just trying to do is we're just trying to change your mindset from where you are now to thinking like a detective, like a KYC analyst, compliance analyst. And that's what our mission is, just to make sure that you have a different mindset and you see things from the angle of a compliance analyst. And I'm sure you all have bank accounts. So whatever they've done, whatever questions they've asked for you during onboarding or refreshing, the same thing, you are going to be training to apply to people and then we're also going to guide you to be able to apply to those jobs how to apply to those jobs and not waste your time applying everywhere you know some jobs are old some are new the best way to apply to those jobs the best way to answer questions and you know who has the best way to negotiate your salary and all that so um if you guys have any questions i think i'll tell you why it's time they can ask questions um and i can also tell you the beauty of the KYC AML compliance market. So you see, something about KYC AML is that you notice that sometimes the banks have issues. They have challenges. Maybe they have financial crisis and all that. One thing I can assure you is that KYC is a different market from the others in that we have to have onboarding. It's a regulatory obligation. So if you say you are sacking people from trading and all that, they don't sack people from KYC. From KYC, you have three different streams. You have onboarding, you have remediation, and you have refresh. They all need people to work there. So every every 12 months, you have to do EDD, EDD refresh. So every 12 months, that's when you see them recruiting um, loads of contractors and all that. Um, if, if RKY gives me permission, I could even share my screen to show you guys some of the jobs out there. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So I'll just share my screen. I just wanted you guys to have an idea of, um, you know, what's going on out there. Um, so we're just going to show you exactly how to break the market. So as you can see, um, let me, just one minute. Sorry, guys, just notice I'm not sharing the screen already. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I hope you guys can see my screen. Yes. I I have a feeling and I know deep down that you guys are already very intelligent people. So it won't be difficult to show you guys the different areas where you can get jobs. You can see how vast it is. You have business analysts, you have project managers. We even have an Excel course here for those who want to go into data. We have data courses here now. Um, these are the kind of different jobs all over the place. As you can see, it's almost unlimited. What's happening now is that we are competing against other trainers. Okay, we are competing against other trainers. Make sure you guys have the best um, skills and um, knowledge to compete against them. It's just a competition. There is nothing more than that. Getting a job in KYC is a competition. We won't lie to you about that. But you are going to be competing with the best information from people in the industry. I've been in the industry for a long time. 
I've worked with MLROs, I've worked with different directors, I've worked here and there, I've worked in investment banking, commercial banking, retail banking, private banking, um, Islamic banking and all that. So, yeah, we'll give you as much as we can. And these are the kind of jobs you will be uh, applying for, as you can see. You know, so, you know, if you are going to be applying for those jobs, then definitely your job description, you need to be able to cover all those things. So if you look at all this, these are the sort of things we are going to be teaching you guys. How to perform background screening, how to perform data gathering on the um, company's house website, how to identify who are the directors, who are the controllers, who are the owners, who are the UBUs, and just to identify. And also we are going to teach you how to do screening, which is very important, and cost across AML and KYC. We also teach you the red flags, things that you need to um, you know, highlight if you've um, seen them, you know, these are the suspicious um, transactions or scenarios that you need to report to the police, to the NCA, and all that. And we'll also teach you how to report to the NCA. So, you know, basically, I know we don't have enough time. I wish we had about three hours to do this data session. I would have usually started doing training here and there. As we mentioned, you remember we mentioned all these things, Proceeds of Crime Act, GMLSG, Money Laundering Regulations 2017, uh, yeah, okay, FCA rules. These are the things you need to have an idea of. You don't need to cram everything. Even though some people in our last course started cramming the pages of some of this legislation, which is pretty much imp impressive, and they got rewarded with good jobs just because, you know, they overread. So we are here to make sure that your success is achieved as soon as possible. Nobody is coming to save anybody. You just have to... Um, you know, make sure you attend all the classes. Even if you miss a class, it's recorded. And we're also here to network. If I have anybody recruiting, I can link you guys up and all that. Because I know you guys have the knowledge and everything, especially if you've done your project. Even if you don't have time to do your project, you'll still, be, you'll still get your certificate anyway, but you just have to show that, you know, you're serious and all that. So um, RKY is one of the few accredited um, training um, programs out there. We have our own CPD. It's not like the others. We are maintaining this thing and we are constantly improving it. I'm just marketing why what we have, you know. It's going to be difficult for anybody out there to compare to us. That's one thing for sure. So if you want, look around, then, you know, make your decision and all that. Today, um, we have the discount and all that and we can start this journey as soon as you guys are ready. So that's uh, basically kind of jobs you will get and also this is um i'll say this is like one of the most important documents for us during the course i just wanted to show you guys so this is the gm energy which we are going to digest and shred to bits because we, we we believe everyone needs to understand it you know depending on whatever level you are if you are even a senior manager already then it will make it easier for you because all we are doing is we are changing your mindset to to move into financial crime prevention. We are going to explain what AML and KYC is. KYC is a tool to prevent anti-money laundering. Okay, I'm sure everybody understands money laundering. And we're just trying to make sure that the bank is not used as a conduit for money laundering. There are different levels of money laundering. There is placement, um, there is um, layering, and there is integration. And what we are supposed to do as KYC analysts, AML analysts, is to try and prevent cut off um, any illicit activities and try and report to the police as soon as possible. They have all these manuals to use in the UK. So if you don't have an idea of how KYC is run in the UK, you are in good hands, and this is exactly what you need to understand. Okay? <laughs> so we have different levels and different things, materials, more than enough that you can read. Our aim is to make you the best. So. Um, let, let me hand over back to RKY and then you guys can ask us questions. Thank, Thank you. Martin. Thank you very much, Lumi. I mean, you're about to just, you know, teach them everything. 
can't wait to do that. You're about to teach them everything. Anyway, that's how eager we are to like, you know, like um, impact knowledge, really. Like like I said, like in the last cohort, right, we had a wonderful class, just like we have you people here as well, you know, willing to ask questions. Classes actually, I mean, we get to ask so many same, so many questions. And you know what happens when you do that, when you are when you are in a learning um learning journey, you know, you get to get the best out of your investments, which would actually yield the best results as well so so yes um that's it really nothing i mean you are going to not only learn the concepts because you can also go to google to check what is aml i think all of us even know the meaning of aml all of us know the meaning of kyc like if you go to google and it tells you what kyc and aml is or you take a short course that explains what it is to you that does still not that still does not teach you what your day-to-day -day will be like what you need to do on the first day on the job what you need to do to scale an interview for the role right which is why you need you know boot camps like this that also you know gives you the opportunity to you know have a community have people to support you have people to guide you through the journey so yes um please if you have your questions i'm going to the chat box now to read out the questions that might have missed um so the next quarter dates um let me go back to my slides now um okay so the next cohort for this training is starting um is starting on the 17th of june on the 17th of june which is two weeks time so if you want to pay in installments right you can pay 300 pounds that's 50 percent of 600 pounds today or to 50,000 in naira and then you pay the balance you know by the start or before the start date which is in two weeks time because it's a five weeks program right we usually don't give extensions that are longer than that because before you know it we've started before you know it classes have ended right so that's why we are giving an extra discount for those that pay one of because it saves us the admin cost of following up for balances and all that you know so yes um call a day if you make 300 pounds payments today and balance before the start dates you would get all the perks including the cv and linkedin optimization as well as the interview preparation of you and this i think yeah so the account number uh, i think i already started getting some people even enrolled so yes if you are one of those that want to take advantage of this you know discounts you also start trying to make your initial deposit or your full payments i'm a canadian permanent does this re cost reference so slash reference if people only those going to the uk oh of course not it doesn't you know because the uk is also one of the i think um globally right there are, um what would i call it now regulatory bodies you know that serves you know across um not just the uk right it serves probably europe and some other north american distance as well but the most important thing is to understand the framework and know how to actually apply it you know regardless of the industry or country that you want to apply it so there are so many people that even you know that don't even have um uk experience right you know and they took these courses and are able to get jobs here so and we also have students that join as well from canada the most important thing is to know who your regulators are in the place you're actually i mean know who your regulators are kyc and ABA, the concept is the same the role kyc analyst you know is the same in fact i think most some companies now even outsource kyc and aml to other countries so it doesn't really you don't need to be in any particular location so even if you are going to be working in canada the skills and knowledge you get out of this boot camp will be beneficial to you can we pursue a higher education along with a course along with a uk job in uk i don't know if that I don't I don't can we have pursue higher education along with a job in UK? I don't know what that question means. Are you saying can you also be a student while taking this course? Or are you saying can you have a job while taking this course? Well, if that's your question, yes, you can. Classes old Saturdays, 4 to 6 p.m. They are recorded. I mean, the recordings are available usually within 48 hours, you know, of um the class. As soon as you make your payments in the week preceding the start of the course you get your login details to the lms where you can have access to the 
resources. So yes, you can do this while you have a full time job or while you are studying mm -hmm. full time as well. Can we have today's recording sent to us after the class? Today is my son's birthday and my attention is divided. Um, as a replace, if you can paste our YouTube um, link share the link to our youtube in the chat box as well so what we advise you to do is to subscribe to our youtube right away you know so that you can get notifications of when this recording is uploaded on youtube as well as other valuable um, career strategy sessions that we hold and upload on our youtube you know so yes the recording will be available not today actually but by monday you know the recording will be on youtube i will also post this on the instagram so if you followed us from instagram you would see when we post that a youtube recording is now available if you even scan through the youtube you see other recordings of other tester sessions that we've had to watch to give you more insight or probably on what we did not if there's anything we did not talk about today what happens after the four weeks boot camp are we going to continue to attend lectures until we get a job or is that the end of the program okay so the program is for four to five weeks there are going to be no lectures after that four to five weeks however you are still a part of the community where you can drop your questions in the community which we post jobs we post tips and strategies for you to use we also said we would also work on your cv and linkedin so you would be job ready because we work on your brand you know which is like the finishing part mm -hmm. of the course we work on your brand you know we deliver your service to you we work on your linkedin we even apply to a couple of jobs for you to get your cv you know start the, i mean your to get your cv to kick start the use of your cv really and then you go have to continue doing this the truth of matter is that if you're actually going through a career transition or you actually want to achieve anything you have to do the work you have to apply the work and when we say apply the work starting from participating in the classes because we have a lot of people who enroll for classes like this and they don't even attend you know and at the end of the day you cannot compare the value of someone who is attending the class or who watches the video to someone who is not doing the same right so when we are going through a crisis, um, career transition is always the best you know to also um, put in the work you know do the extra research do the extra research and all that you know so and like you already know i mean searching for job is a job in itself which we have to do diligently in order to um, get result out of it can someone with insurance background and masters do this training fantastic i like that question i mean that's the truth of the matter is that the insurance industry is actually going through a lot of expansion as well right now like people that i mean i wish i could just uh, carry a microphone and scream people that have insurance background can you come and join our boot camps not even just this boot camp our project management our business analysis bootcamp as well because the insurance um industry is going through expansion at the moment and they always value people that have industry experience so yes you know if you have um insurance background you have insurance and um, training yes you have a very good advantage because there's a lot of expansion going on in the insurance industry do you think someone with zero experience qualify for kyc AML jobs in the UK. Oh, of course, the most important thing in the UK job market, which a lot of people don't know, is your ability to demonstrate your skills and experience. And that is why we always say that boot camps like ours that gives you practical work experience, you know, supersedes and is prioritized against degrees and certifications. Degrees are good, but not for you to break into a career path that you don't have experience in. You need to gain that experience first because our interviews are usually like demonstrate demonstrate their practical base they will tell you to give them a time give us a time when you've done this can you tell us how you do this you know you need to you need to actually have that experience i mean so you need to develop that experience from the boot camp which we would give you and the good thing is like i said our boot camp is more practical focused rather i mean is more practical focus rather than tell you what the advantages is advantages and the uh, merits and the merits like you get in a university kind of set is no as is practical for so if you have zero experience as well you can develop that experience in this boot camp right because you'll be working on projects that will give you that experience you know so what qualifies you isn't the degree you don't need to i mean there's even a degree in kyc and aml anyways but it's not the degree or it's not is what you are able to so, so two people can attend the same boot camp and at the end of it one person would be able to defend just a month of experience why another person will be able to defend up to five years of experience by applying themselves by doing additional research by doing research before classes and bringing questions to challenge the thing is lumi and myself 
I'm, a, I'm also, I mean, I'm a veteran in banking as well. I have over, if I add my UK, because I also work in a bank in the UK, if I had my Nigerian over like 10 years experience in Nigeria, if I add all that together, that's, that would be taking me to about 14 years of banking experience myself. So the thing is, if you don't bring your questions, if you are not ready to challenge us, to get those, because the thing is, yes, we can prepare for class, but there's a wide scope of knowledge in our head that probably is not in the slides. You have to do your research, challenge us, ask us those questions. The other knowledge is, is there. We have it. But if you don't ask us, we would not be able to answer those questions. So yes, you can get as much, uh, because the thing is, the people that are facilitating you, we have a wealth of experience. We have a wealth of experience in the banking industry in Nigeria. I worked across customer service, you know, I worked ac across relationship management, I mean, financial control and, uh, you know, analysis and all that. So, KYC ML, there's no way you work in customer service in a bank and not know what KYC is because banks in Nigeria don't have roles called KYC analysts. I don't know if they do now. It is the marketers that do the KYC, it is the customer service that do the KYC, right? So, that knowledge and what that you would gain that from us you only have to like have the right questions from us and which is why the last class i was happy about how they drilled i mean some classes i'll be like ah, lumi it's like 6 40 we are still in class but i like that because that's the only way you can get the best because before you know it's five weeks is, even if you have it for one year isn't that why degrees degrees that are one, i mean masters that is one year still does not prepare you for industry so it's not about why whereas a bootcamp, our bootcamps in data analysis, for instance, now is enough to get you to get your first data analysis job without even having data analysis experience. Whereas a degree that you do for one year, so it's not about the time frame, it's not about how long it is, you know, it's not about how long, it's about how much value and how much you are able to get out, you know, out of it. I don't know if that answers your question, I mean, that how much will you pay today if you want to pay today? So if you want to pay today, if you're paying in installments, right, it depends, there are two. If you want to pay in full, you pay 600 pounds. If you want to pay in installment, I think the prices should still be, I don't know if I'm sharing my screen or if Lumi is the one sharing the screen. But yeah, if you want to pay today, let me share my screen to show you the page for the payments. Um, give me a minute, please. Okay, I found you. So, yes, as you can see on my screen, if you want to pay today, right, the one of time one time payment, so that's you pay the amount and that's it. But if you want to pay in installments, what you need to pay out of the installments is 50% of that amount you are seeing under the installments payments, you know, and then you get everything including free cv free linkedin optimization linkedin optimization i know a company that's you know offers linkedin optimization for 350 pounds right and that's how much are you paying for this training that you also get linkedin and everything from it so i would implore you not to lose this opportunity because you know i know people that train kyc two days just kyc and aml and they charge 700 pounds 600 pounds so really it's up to you i mean you can go to our page because a lot of people are like ah because, I mean, I think there's a normal added that says something is too good to be true or something. But the truth of the matter is that we don't just, you know, we don't just, um, we don't just talk, right? You know, the actions and the results should go through our page. You you see, you know, you see um, results there. So how do we notify you when we make payments? Thank you for that. You know, you must have seen our page either through Instagram, rkycareers.com. Our email address as well is support at rkycareers.com or info at rkycareers.com. You can either send us an email, you know, with your name, your phone number and the cost you paid for as well as your installments, payments, um, balance dates. You know, that's if you're paying one of, and if you're paying in full, just send your just send your details to us if payment is done today when do we get the updated cv of course you get the updated cv after you've gained the knowledge which will be put in on the cv which is at the end of the boot camp because we are not just cooking up cv for you we want to pass the knowledge to you as i mean at first you know and then we will now deliver the cv and linkedin as well because we don't want you also getting interviews and not being able to defend it because the classes have not started yet right so but yes i mean the classes is for five weeks so in like um the classes start on the 17th so yes after the classes or in the last week of the class you start getting your cv 
you know, and they will proceed to your LinkedIn thereafter. Do we still have access to you after the boot camp? Of course, there's a community like all our, I think we've had four boots, four, four or five, um, four, I think four before this we are all we are all still in a community we still share jobs there we, just, we still share chips um, we still share tips we still share jobs and occasionally i drop in to know how everything's are going like you know i mean like if for those that are in interview stage you know this is what um this is what um you need to do to like you know to search for a job this is what you need to do on linkedin this is you know industry insight i just gave you one about the insurance industry now those are the kind of not case because we have we are not just um we are also we are industry experts you know we have we know what is going on we know what the trends are you know in the industry so during the stage of your interview would have had sessions to like cover everything you need to know to handle interviews and all that but if you have interviews you need quick tips and all that i mean i'm always the one handling my instagram most of the time so you can still drop a message you know in the chat box you don't even need to reach me up reach out to me personally your facilitator is also going to be in the group in the is also a part of the community as well as other people who have also gotten a job and can also help because the thing is we are building a community both those that are already ahead of you that have gotten a job ourselves you would always get answers to your question if you have any question drop your question in the community and we will have a um we would respond to you don't you have a phone number that we can call or send our payment details to you can reach out to us on instagram if you need to be reached out to personally reach out to us on instagram or our email and we'll do that during working hours as well but i mean you don't i don't think you need to make a call to send your payment details you need to just send it as a message right um yes i think i think that pretty much answers it so for those of us that are here as well that have family and friends who are interested in other career transition fields or who are interested in moving to other career path rky careers offer you know um life-changing um boot camps as well in areas like data analysis and business intelligence um projects management business analysis ms excel basic to advance which you advise everybody like to get in fact let me just give you a tip i've never i've not mentioned in our next ms excel boot camp we are going to be adding powerpoints to it going forward our ms excel isn't just going to be ms excel boot camp because a lot of people don't actually even know how to make presentations which is pretty much basic you should be able to make presentation with powerpoints right so we're going to be delivering not just an ms excel so our ms excel boot camp is going to be improved now and this would include presentation from going from basic to also advanced to be able to make presentation because it was a lot of people get tasks when i do interview prep they get tasks during interview to pre make some presentations and they are not always able to do it unfortunately we don't prepare um we don't help people to do their presentation because you need to defend it we can only review for you when you get something like that we won't prepare it from the start because we are not helping you when you now get a job we used to be bringing your presentations for us to do for you so yeah ms excel and powerpoints you get to learn that you know as a standalone anyway if you i mean a lot of people graduate from this and move on to that and a lot of people you know i mean even before like maybe probably they can't join this boot camp but they can afford down you know and then they do start with that at first you know to start they start with that as well so projects management business analysis data analysis and um, ms excel and powerpoints are also other boot camps that we offer that have as much you know benefits that you get in this boot camp as well so share the news with your friends and family that have interest in that field and um yes our data analysis class starts on the 10th of june which is next week you can still you know i mean if you have friends and family who want to join they can still join that boot camp so i think that brings us to the end i don't know if you have any other question you know i mean it's been really nice i love the questions that have been coming up instagram is rky careers our youtube rky careers we're on tiktok we are on all the social media platforms we are very social you know so yes that's it um yeah i can't wait to see you guys in class recordings will be available you know by monday lumi it's been really wonderful having you here again and you know i'm sure that the next cohorts can't you know wait to meet you as well yeah thank you everyone for joining and i mean yeah no other question so let's have a lovely okay someone is typing
Thank you everyone for joining. Our payments details should be sent to where? I think this was okay. Send it to info at rkycareers.com. That's our email. You can copy it and send it to our email, or you can send it to us on Instagram. You must have found us somewhere. Either you found us on Instagram or Facebook to join this boot camp. Whichever platform you found, I mean Instagram or um, our mail, right? Whichever platform you found us through, you can reach out to us on that platform, and we are always very responsive. So I hope that answers all your questions. You're welcome, Madavi. Thank you as well. Yes, so in the absence of any other question, let's get back to enjoying our barbecues. Let's get back to enjoying the very nice weather. Have a great weekend, guys.